And we're talking about really a good looking day ahead before we have some extreme heat yes, coming our way. I've been hearing Stefano say that the humidity is coming back and I'm not uh -oh. a fan. And, and it'll be the most, you know, the more <laughs> consistent lengthy heat and humidity combo that we've had though so far this season. I know we've already hit 90 in Nashville, but we have an opportunity not only to get back near 90 the rest of this week, but with the humidity factored in, it might even feel like we're well in the 90s at times as we get closer to our weekend. But today, things are very comfortable on this Memorial Day. If you have anything going on, the weather is cooperating. We're in the 50s this morning, climbing into the 70s to near 80 this afternoon with an interval of clouds and sunshine. So not one completely winning out or the other, but a nice mix of clouds and sun for today. As we quickly go through future cast here, 50s this morning might even be light jacket territory for some but not all 60s in the plateau by our lunch hour. We are in the 70s elsewhere by 12 o'clock today. Most of the area stays in the 70s this afternoon, and you can see that mix of clouds and sunshine. But some areas, if we can get enough sun, should make a push near 80. Overnight tonight, things stay nice and calm. 50s and 60s by tomorrow morning. The afternoon is going to be a warmer one. Lower 80s, mid 80s, a couple of 70s in far east middle Tennessee. And as we go through our day tomorrow, the humidity should make a little bit more of a comeback because of that. I can't rule out the slightest of an isolated shower, but most of the day is going to end up staying dry. As far as today is concerned, if you have any Memorial Day services you're going to, looking good for that. Bike, walk, or run, really any outdoor activities looking nice today. By the pool, it's nice and comfortable. And then grilling out this evening is looking good as well. Take a look at the afternoon high temperatures over the next couple of days. There we go, climbing into the upper 80s, pushing near 90 by the time we get to the end of this week and going into the weekend. And like I said, it comes with a little bit of an increase in the humidity, so you're definitely going to notice that each day, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, even spilling over into the early part of our weekend. I'm not ruling out a pop up shower or thunderstorm that will try to develop really each afternoon. It's nothing overly widespread. We're not going to see rain everywhere every single day, but everyone should be keeping an eye to the sky for a couple of those stray showers and rumbles of thunder. So looking not all that bad, but those overnight lows in the 60s with the humidity means it's going to be a couple rough nights of sleeping that are ahead of us, Ryan.